maths teacher so for our third story uh, this is a question that we have to make the program on the visual basic so this is a question if you can read it using switch state means it is talking about uh, case statement right case statement is also known as switch statement so writer should do code and a program that displays the following menu for the food items available to take the order from user b stands for the burger f french f stands for the french fries p stands for the pizza and s for the sandwiches so what our program will actually do the program inputs the type of food and quantity it finally displays the total charges for the order according to the following criteria it means that if we input burger then it will calculate the price of burger and we should input the quantity as well if we input french fries then uh, the uh, computer program will calculate the cost of it using the quantity as well it means we should input the quantity and then if we input pizza along with its quantity then it will calculate the amount of pizza which is given same with the sandwiches so this is a question that we have to make the program so the program focus on the input which input the type of food. this is the key point that we have to keep in our mind that this is a input and this is another input means we have two inputs right and then we finally display the total charges total charges right it means this is our output and we have the two inputs in our program what we have to do by use the variable food and its data type is string the reason of uh, this variable is that we use a case statement right so for the case statement we need a collective variable okay so dim food as the string so food is a variable name and the data type is a string then we need another uh, variable and i name it amount underscore burger data type is integer so whatever the amount will be calculated it will be stored in this variable in the same way amount underscore french underscore fries and data type is integer whatever the amount of the french fries will be calculated it will be stored in this variable in the same way dim amount underscore pizza data type as integer whatever the amount will be calculated it will be stored in the pizza and with the sandwiches as well next is the quantity whatever the quantity we input it will be stored in this variable quantity underscore burger and in the same way whatever we input the quantity for the french fries it will be stored in this variable quantity underscore french fries and whatever we input the quantity of the pizza it will be stored in the quantity underscore pizza variable and same with the sandwiches now next is the input statement that uh, what we have to do this is the output that console dot write line it is for the output please enter desired food name okay whatever we uh, type the food name our console application will read that name and it will store in the food variable now we use a switch statement or we can say that it is a case statement select case and the variable is food because we are we have chosen the variable food to store the criteria so case burger if the case is burger if the user the user using the input statement console dot write quantity of burger okay Where whatever the quantity we input our console application will read that line and store it in the quantity underscore burger variable and then what amount means 200 price and it will then multiply with the quantity underscore burger variable whatever the quantity it could be 2 it could be 3 it could be 4 so it will multiply with the 200 because 200 is the price of the program and then it will show us the output 
fastfood.pipeline total amount of burger and amount underscore burger it means that it will show you the exact value of the burger so let's test this statement whether it is working or not okay uh, please enter desired food name I input burger now quantity of burger let's suppose I input quantity to I need two burger so total amount of burger this is a, a output statement right line and this is the calculated amount means one burger is of 200 so two burger is of 400 now I press enter it means that our program is running successfully now for the same code will be applied for the case french fries so the same code will be copied here quantity of french fries right and then we take the variable quantity underscore french fries whatever the quantity will be input our console application will read that line and store the value in the quantity underscore french underscore fries variable after that we need a variable to get store the calculated amount amount underscore french underscore fries this is a variable it will uh, calculate and store the value 50 rupees is the cost of french fries and it will be multiplied with the quantity and the same code will be applied here now the same code for the pizza whatever we input the quantity of the pizza it will be our console our console application will read that line and store the quantity of the pizza in the quantity underscore pizza variable and then amount underscore pizza will store and calculate uh, the value with the quantity and the same code will be applied in the sandwiches okay and what if all possible values becomes false means we input another food type then a message will be displayed console.write9 please enter value choice and then we will end our case statement using answer and the program will take uh, will wait for the user input using console.read now let's input the values now let's test the program Let's suppose I input pizza quantity of pizza. Let's suppose three pizzas. So total amount of three pizzas of 1500 because our the cost because the cost because the cost of the pizza is 500 and it is waiting for the user input to terminate the program. When I press enter, it will end the program. Now test another for the sandwiches. I input the sandwiches. Quantity of sandwiches five. Each sandwich each sandwich is of 150 rupees. So five sandwiches are of 750 rupees. Okay. I hope you understood this well. We will meet in the next class.